Now, before we get started, first of all, I'd like to say a massive thank you to everyone who listened to episode one. And of course, to those who've said very kind words, thank you very much indeed. It's much appreciated. Now, for a lot of us, our time playing FM 22 may be coming to an end, and we're looking longingly at FM 23. For some, however, there's still a bit of life left in your current saves. And as the old saying goes, it's not over till RDF has tweaked your tactics in the tactics garage. Aaron, we've yes. got another one. I know, we do. We do. <laughs> After the success of last week where we looked at producer Steve's Fiorentina, we obviously asked the community to get in touch and send us their tactics. And this is what I've got, Aaron. We've got a reply from Jamie at 2DPFM, who says, I've made this for a Barcelona save, trying out some of the roles I hadn't used before. I ended up calling it a trisymmetric, as it creates lots of triangle passing movements. Defensively, it's solid, but we're not scoring enough goals. It needs a little more oomph going forward. So do you want to bring it up and have a little look under the hood oh, and see what we've got? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. So what we have here is a, obviously a symmetric tactic for those who can't see on the screen. We do have a back four. It's a flat back four. We do have a defensive midfielder, which is a half back. In central midfield, we have a Mazala, very, very risky in this shape. We have a wide playmaker to the left of him. In attacking midfield, we do have a shadow striker. On the right, it's a Ram Deuter. And then lastly, up top, Slightly on the right-hand side, we do have a central forward on attack. A complete forward on attack. So, I guess he's trying to use roles that he hasn't used a lot in Football Manager. To be fair, it's probably similar for a lot of us. Not a lot of us are going to be using a Ram Deuter. And not a lot of us are going to be using a wide playmaker on the wider areas. So, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. So, just for people listening at home who maybe don't know what an asymmetric tactic is, how would you describe it? Particularly, of course, if we're listening in a podcast form rather than visually. Well, funky. <laughs> funky. <laughs> <laughs> so, usually you would set out a tactic like a formation of 4 3 3, and you would, everything would be symmetric. So, you just have your flat back four, you have your holding midfielder in the middle, in the central area. Then you will have your two central midfielders in the um, left side of the central midfield uh, spot and then the right side of the central midfield spot as well. Then you have your two wingers perfectly placed on either flank and your central uh, striker bang right in the middle. And if you wanted to make an asymmetric tactic, if you're trying to, well, kind of exploit the AI or exploit your own team's qualities, you might want to make a funky looking shape. And that might mean in a 4-3-3, three, three, you can drop your right winger down to right midfield and then voila, you've got a funky looking asymmetric tactic. And sometimes it does work really well in Football Manager. Sometimes it can go the complete opposite way you wanted it to go. Mm, yeah, so think diagonal lines, isn't it, at this point? Obviously, the yeah. type that I'm looking at right now, it seems to be a flat back four, and then you've got sort of two diagonal lines going up across from, from midfield uh, into the forwards. Now, I've experimented with asymmetric myself uh, this year, and looking at some yeah. of these roles, not roles I would have used personally. Is this where Jamie's coming from, that the roles are, are potentially the issue here, or...? Is there something that you yeah. can maybe look and say, look, you know, this is what we need to tweak a bit? Well, looking at the system, and he said he needs a little bit more oomph <clears throat> going forward, I can kind of get or see why he's very, very solid defensively because in transition, he is regrouping. So he's asking these players to drop deep and get back into their shape. But also out of possession as well, he's got a much lower line of engagement, a much lower defensive line. So not only is he using roles that isn't, used very often he's also using instructions that people might not necessarily go to straight away like much lower line of engagement that's very <laughs> very risky so that's one thing i would change to try and get goals even though it's a defensive instruction but you got again just think you're on the pitch and you're defending very very deep if you do win the ball back you're so far away from goal so even your defensive line and your line of engagement can help you be a little bit more creative going further forward Mm, it's very interesting that he's sat deep with Barcelona in particular, looking to play <laughs> counter-attacking football. I'm just trying to think very quickly in my head of how many teams are going to come to the new Camp 
and attack Barcelona. <laughs> Surely there's not that many. I think there's probably only one uh, team that would maybe be doing that. So in terms of getting a bit more oomph, would you maybe take that line, that, that lower line of defence and move it up a little bit? Maybe like go less counter-attack, go a bit more sort of, um, yeah. a bit more aggressive? So that's exactly one tweak that I'm going to do. And I'm actually just thinking about, I had a little light bulb moment and maybe, <laughs> maybe he's onto something. Maybe a team like Barcelona... It's a trap, right? So the positive mm-hmm. mentality, he's still positive um, in his football, in possession and stuff like that. So if Iber comes to Barcelona and Barcelona just sitting back, maybe Iber thinking, hmm, maybe we can step forward then. And then that is where Barcelona can then become dangerous. That's when he starts to create space and then he can exploit. But I do feel the much lower land of engagement, a much lower defensive line, it's a bit too, it's a bit too much. So I am going to change the line of engagement to standard. But the thing about these tactic garages is that we don't necessarily want to change someone's tactic completely. We want to keep the idea. So with the defensive line, we're still just going to use a lower. It's not much lower, but it's still lower. We're still defending deep when the opposition have the ball. Mm, and of course, as you say, it's not, it's, not, uh, it's not changing the tactic entirely, is it? It's just making these little tweaks. Now, is there any tweaks that you'd make two potentially roles is there any roles that are sort of standing out at you that you maybe sort of go well if I was setting this tactic up maybe I would use this role rather than the role that Jamie's currently using yeah so in his asymmetric uh, tactic the left midfielder wide playmaker I'm quite happy with that the shadow striker in attacking midfield the ram doiter as well and complete forward he's he's got something going there it's the Mazzala for me that ruins this uh, fluid attacking movement if he's running out in that wider area, so he's got the Mazala on the right side of the central midfield area, but he's also got the Ram Doita on the right-hand side as well. Now, the Ram Doita, he likes to play very, very narrow. He sits more narrow, and that's actually hard-coded in his role as well. He moves into channels, so effectively, you're going to have the Ram Doita sitting more narrow in that kind of right half space. Then you've got the Mazala, who is a half-winger. He mainly operates in that half space, but he also moves into channels as well. So you've got the Ram Doita and Mazala kind of doing the same thing. It's not necessarily a bad thing, especially if you want to create overloads, but on the left-hand side, you've got a wide playmaker. There's not no one or really anybody penetrating on the left-hand side. But it is the Mazala that I will change, and I'm actually going to get a Roman playmaker in midfield. So now we have two playmakers. Fancy. We have two playmakers. And one reason being is that, so he's got a half-back, and he doesn't really offer much going further forward. And then the Mazala offers a lot going further forward. So... You kind of have your disconnected midfield with the halfback sitting very deep, being very cautious, and then the Mazzala being very adventurous and going further forward. So I'm going to get a Roman playmaker who likes to drop deep to get the ball. He collects the ball, but then he drives forward. So he can be that connection in midfield, and then we can create some very good opportunities going further forward. So that's mm. one role I would change, but also the fullbacks. The fullbacks are fullbacks on support. I don't feel you're going to get much out of them considering a wide playmaker is going to come inside and just operate and create chances. That's his main job. Then a Ram Doyle, again, is going to sit more narrow. So maybe we could just get some complete wing backs in there, some complete wing backs on support, getting further forward and helping that attack play, but also offering some width, which is vital, which is going to be vital. So those are the roles that I have tweaked. Full backs are now complete wing backs on support and the Mazala on attack in midfield is now a Roman playmaker on support. So we're still kind of using unfamiliar roles or roles that are not often being used. So we've still got that little edge to the tactic. So just to remind anyone listening, when we're talking about in possession and out of possession tactics, RDF's using the the sort of the square boxes down the left hand side, those three boxes there, they do actually say uh, in possession out of possession and in transition as well. So that's where we look at uh, lowering our lines of engagement and upping our lines of engagement when we're talking about how to become a little bit more aggressive in this tactic. Now, um, Aaron, we're talking here about a couple of roles we maybe haven't looked at before, some niche roles, if you will. Um, We're talking about halfbacks. Now, what's the difference between a halfback and maybe a central midfielder or or a defensive midfielder, possibly? It's it's mainly the movement. With the halfback, he's really... He's really going to focus, so when you're in possession, he's really going to focus, coming deep and just recycle possession. He's not going to try anything fancy. A, a deep line playmaker, a defensive midfielder, they might try and break a line with the pass, whereas a halfback, he's just going to focus on keeping the possession, but he drops back in between your defenders. So effectively, 
he will look to create a three at the back if you're using two defenders, obviously. <laughs> Mm, fantastic so an extra bit of defensive solidity there yeah uh, which we quite like and you mentioned a ram deuter now a rule i've not used a lot i must be honest and i'm sure there's maybe a few of our listeners possibly haven't ventured into the rules <laughs> of ram deuter so again give us give us a breakdown on what does a ram deuter do uh just think thomas muller <laughs> just think thomas <laughs> muller in his prime just think that and yeah he's a, he's a winger but essentially he's just going to look to attack any sort of space that he can see He's not going to be involved in your build-up, so he's not going to really look to drop deep link play and stuff. So when you are building, what he's going to be looking at is the space that he can just look to exploit, which is mainly in between the full-backs and the centre-backs. Lovely. And finally, a Mazala. This is the main change that you were making. You changed yes. a Mazala to a Roman playmaker. So explain to me what a Mazala is and explain to me why you think a Roman playmaker works better in this tactic. Well, a Mazala, by football manager's terms, is essentially just a half winger. And he's going to be in, central, in, in the central areas, but he's going to drift out into those wider areas, mainly in that right half space. And he's going to look to just disorganise any opposition's um, defensive shape. And he, he can be really, really deadly. But with the Mazala, I feel you do need to have some nice role supporting the Mazala. And I don't feel Aram Doita, especially, is one of those roles. And a Roman playmaker, think a box-to-box midfielder, but with a lot more creative responsibility. If your team are building um, out from the back, a box-to-box midfielder, he's just essentially just going to get up and down the pitch, up and down the pitch. A Roman playmaker, similarly, up and down the pitch, but when he comes down on the pitch, he's looking to collect the ball and build and create something. He's going to look to drive with the ball, go further forward and play those killer passes. And I'm looking at that Ram Deuter and he can benefit from a Roman playmaker in this system mm, and if you are unsure about this there are little role descriptions just by clicking on the little i on the uh, on the player as well yes. so you can see a description of the roles so if you haven't come across these before you can have a little look there and uh see what they do and they should give you a bit of a, a bit of an understanding as to where these players are going to run what they're going to do and what they're not going to do now aaron appreciate that i'm sure uh, jamie's over the moon with your uh, breakdown Ooh, if looks, anyone else if anyone else has an issue what can they do they can send their tactics in send a screenshot to rdf tactics on twitter you can send it to tony if you want but it will be me <laughs> looking at it so you can send, <laughs> it, to to send it to me <laughs> <laughs> so you can send it to rdf tactics on twitter just send me a screenshot you don't necessarily has to be attached to a thread just send me a screenshot with a description actually tell me what's wrong with it what should i fix don't just send me a tactic and be like hey rdf here's a tactic no tell me what's wrong and then i'll have a look you're listening to the football manager show from the athletic on the athletic you can read the fine penmanship of michael cox amy lawrence david ornstein and many more and if you're a subscriber you can read all of these incredible journalists in one place. How do you become a subscriber? It's simple. Visit theathletic.com forward slash FM pod. That's theathletic.com forward slash FM pod. And if you've never subscribed before, you can join up for six months for six quid. So what are you waiting for? Do it today.